What is the greatest Team USA Olympic basketball team of all time? I know we got a top two, but there's been nine teams all time, and we're about to rank them. We're gonna have to put them in four tiers. We got GOAT tier. We got, they're tough. They're tough. We got mid and we got trash. Um, you know, eight of the, well, seven of the nine have won gold. One has not played, one has won bronze. But we're gonna go through each team. Let's go ahead and bring up the first team. We got the 1992 team. We got Jordan Bird, Magic, Chris Mullen, Clyde Drexler looks old as hell. Uh, uh, Stockton, Chuck, who should not be named, Mr. 13 year old, David Robinson, uh, Irvin, uh, Ewing, uh, Pippen, and Christian Leitner. I'm not gonna read out everybody's name for each team. But this team is legendary, bro. Like eight and oh, beat every team by like 40. I think this is an easy lock to be in the GOAT tier. Easy lock to be in the GOAT tier. Next up, we got the 1996 team. Uh, I feel like this is one of those teams that people are kind of unfamiliar with. Like, does everybody know who this team is for real? Like who was on it? This is the year after Jordan. Jordan only did it one year. We got a lot of the same players. I don't know who this is in the back. I'm gonna be honest. No idea who this brother is right here. But we got Shaq. We got Young Shaq, Grant Hill, Stockton. We got Penny, Chuck, Scotty, Reggie, Carl, Gary, David Robinson again, and Hakeem this time. Another team that went 8-0. Um, it's just like, this is kind of the same team, but they kind of substituted, you know, some of the legends like Magic, Bird, and Jordan are gone from this team. So this is like the 2016 team when there's no LeBron or Kobe. It's kind of like giving that, but they still got stars. Like they still got stars. So I would say they're still, you know, they're still tough. They're still a tough team. I'm gonna I'm I'm throw them in tough. I'm gonna throw them in tough. Now 2002, I mean 2000. Let me throw 2000 out here. Another team that went eight, no. But if we're just looking at the roster, we got KG. I don't know who this is. I don't know who this is. I don't know who this is. I might be Nick Van Exel, maybe. J Kid, uh, Gary Payton, Vince Carter. Uh, 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 this one, Vince Carter jumped over, bro. Uh, Ray Allen, Grant. But no, this is uh, Steve Smith. That's Steve Smith. I think it's Jalen Rose. Yeah, I'm actually very unfamiliar with this team, if I'm gonna be honest. But this team is very mid. Very mid. Um, I think this might be the only team that's giving mid 2000. Um, but yeah, they won 8 0. They won gold. Like, like it was nothing. Uh, if you guys are in the comments, feel free to list the names of these players. But we're gonna throw the 2000 team in mid. Now we got 2004, and this was an interesting year. Um, we had it's kind of blurry. Sean Marion. We got Lamar Odom, Amari Stoudemire, Timmy Duncan. Not sure. Not sure. And then we got the young guns. We got D Wade. We got Bron. We got Melo, Richard Jefferson, AI, and uh, uh, Stefan Marbury. So like on paper, this is a great team, but this is what, year two? LeBron, D-Wade, and Melo, like, you know, if you wanna hold this against LeBron because he didn't win gold, this is the only Team USA that hasn't won gold in basketball. They lost like three games, bro. Like, that's actually gross. And this is a solid team, you got Tim Duncan, Amari, Lamar, Lamar is underrated, bro. Lamar is like the first like real point forward for real that could dribble and, you know, do everything. Um, but D-Wade barely played, Melo barely played, D uh, LeBron barely played. But this team went five and three. They lost three games. Lost three games, let Argentina get the gold. These guys ended with the bronze. So I just gotta say they're trash. Like there's no other way around it. They just gotta end up in the trash can. I'm gonna be honest. But now we get to the Redeem team. A team that a lot of people say is, you know, the best. Not everybody says it, but a lot of people do. Um, we got, I mean, maybe not. We got MVP Kobe, 2008. We got MVP Braun. We got D Wade. We got Chris Bosch. We got Michael Red, CP. Boozer is Boozer, but Boozer was tough. Tayshaun Prince, two-way. He's like uh, not as good as Kawhi Leonard. Uh, I don't know if that's a good one. But yeah, got Melo, one of the second all-time leading scorer for Team USA. Darren Williams, at one point, 
there was arguments between Darren Williams and Chris Paul, who, who's the best point guard in the league. But don't sleep on Darren Williams. Still got Jay Kidd, who just played uh, the, the four years ago. Um, yeah, like Michael Red is no sleeper either. He was on the bus lighting that <coughs> up. But this team was tough, bro. The Redeem team, I don't know if y'all have seen the documentary. Um, it's legendary. But I think just based off this team, just, you know, based off the team, they got to be in the GOAT conversation. They got to be in the GOAT conversation, bro. Like, it's this or that of what's the best team. And it's really just because it's prime, Bron it's prime Kobe and almost prime Braun. But now we get to the 2012 team. Hold on, let me pull this up. Now we get to the 2012 team, and this team is also slept on. Like, some of y'all could say that this is better than the Redeem team, because this is for sure Prime Braun. This is like, I would still give Prime Kobe. You got James Harden, future MVP. Russell Westbrook, future MVP. Kevin Durant, future MVP. This is almost Prime KD, where it's like, this dude's gonna be the greatest basketball player in the world at this point, we're thinking. It's like year four or five for KD. CP is still CP, one of the best point guards in the league. Melo, straight bucket. Uh, Blake Griffin was a light-skinned demon. Tyson Chandler's a demon. Darren Williams, still who he was. And K-Love was grabbing rebounds left and right. Um, then you got Iguodala, you know. Laser beam pointed at the earth. Martians, who do you want? I want Iguodala. Y'all already know what we talking about. But with all that being said, like, I think this team is probably the third best so far. I'm going to get to 2024 in a sec. I'm going to get to 2024 in a sec. Now, 2016, 2016 was when it was like, oh, a lot of these players aren't there anymore. Um, we got KD still there, obviously. We got people like Kyrie, Kyle Lowry, Draymond. Like, the only people we have from the team before is Melo and KD. There's no, there's no Steph. Steph playing his first Olympics this year. You got people like DeAndre Aiden, DeMarcus Cousins, Harrison Barnes, DeMar, Clay, PG. Like, it's a good team. Don't get me wrong. This was a great team. I'm pretty sure it was the Rio Olympics. Um, KD was cooking. Uh, but, I don't know. I think I'll give them, what do I give them, bro? I'm not sure. 2016 team? I think I can give them tough, bro. Because this is similar to right here. Like, you still had a couple of the favorites, but you didn't have Kobe, you didn't have Braun, and like, you know, 2018 could be the greatest Braun. This is right before that. So I don't really know, it's, it's, it's close. But right here, we got the, uh, the 2020 team. I don't even have a picture pulled up for this. But uh, they had like, Dame. They had a bunch of randoms, and they lost the game. They went five and one. I'm gonna throw them in the mid, bro. They won the gold, but they went five and one. Um, average win margin is probably like 20. Weren't the greatest team, but they got the job done. Um, yeah, and now to this year's team that we're all waiting for. If I could change it, Tyrese would be out of here. Give me Kyrie Irving for sure. I like Drew Holiday a lot. He's probably gonna be a great player for this team. But like, no, we could have Drew Holiday. I would, I would almost like Jalen Brown here if we was just doing straight American talent, even though Embiid is kind of a fraud. But this team's insane, bro. Like everybody in their prime, this would be the greatest roster. Everybody in their prime. Steph, Bron, KD, prime. Even Anthony Davis and Kawhi. Like this is an insane roster. I want to put them in GOAT, bro. I want to put them in GOAT, but I got to put them tough, bro, because we haven't seen them do it yet. In about a month and a half's time, they might be in the GOAT. But, you know, everybody's really good now. Like, the world is really good now, so it's going to be tough. But there's a high chance that they could be in GOAT. I can't wait to watch it. If y'all like this video and if y'all agree with me, feel free to like, subscribe, comment what you guys think I should change, if I should change anything. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. We out of here.